Hello fans and friends across the universe. Welcome to my YouTube channel from me to you. My name's Keir Smith. I saw a video recently on YouTube on a channel called Vinyl Rewind and the video is called The Worst Beatles Album. So that had me clicking straight away with some interest. The host of the channel, who is a Beatles fan, was inspired by a recent poll where fans voted for their least favourite song from each of the Beatles albums. And what he did was he took his least favourite song from each of the Beatles albums and included a couple of singles that made up what he thought would make the worst Beatles album. Now I consider myself a Beatles fanatic. They are my favourite band ever by a country mile. No one even comes close. I don't consider myself biased. I simply think the Beatles are that good, that influential and that important. Now this topic irked me a little bit at first because I thought, this is silly. Even if I take my least favourite song from each of the Beatles albums and made an album up of those songs, it would still make a very good album. But by taking what I thought was a negative idea and turning it into a positive one, I thought, yeah, this could be fun. And with that, I set about making this quiet masterpiece of an album. So I took the Beatles 13 CD albums and I took one song from each album. I took two from the White Album with it being a double album and made up an album of 14 songs. I didn't want to include any singles. I didn't want to over egg the pudding for this silly project. The only rule I put in place was that it had to be an original song written by one of the four Beatles or all four combined. It would have been too easy to have filled half of the album with cover versions otherwise. And it had to be what I considered to be a full length song. So I didn't include the shorter songs like Dig It, Maggie May, Her Majesty or Wild Honey Pie. Not that I would have included Wild Honey Pie in this album anyway. I think it's fabulous. So with all that said, here's my list. 14 songs in total. And I want to say in advance, if I pick one of your favourite songs, I'm sorry for that. Because when we get to Abbey Road, well, even I'm not happy with that choice. So starting with Please Please Me, I'm going to go with Love Me Do, the charming debut single by the boys. I dig the harmonica motif, John and Paul singing in harmony from the start, but of the eight original Lennon McCartney offerings on this album, this is my least favourite. From With The Beatles, I'm going to go with I Wanna Be Your Man. It's good, it's got good energy, Ringo sings it well, George's descending guitar parts in the chorus are good, as are John and Paul's harmonies and I prefer it to the Rolling Stones version. From A Hard Day's Night, I'm going with When I Get Home. The opening vocal catches your ear immediately. I like John's lead vocal, obviously. Ringo plays some powerful drum fills, and if any other band had released this as a single in 1964, it would have been a huge hit, I'm sure. From Beatles For Sale, I'm going to go with Babies In Black. Now, this was a really hard song to commit to, to say, this is my least favourite from the album because it's a song I really like and a really interesting one too. It's a waltz. It's a bit bluesy. It's also a bit country. It's a very well crafted song. It flows very well. And I love Paul's high harmony in the bridge. Superb. From Help, I've gone with You Like Me Too Much. This was a little bit easier to pick. It's not a bad song, but I've always thought that this was lightweight material. Nice piano intro by George Martin and I like the trickling piano solo in the middle but I always had a problem with the lyric and it's nice when you believe me. From Rubber Soul I've gone with What Goes On and this is very catchy, good harmonies, a perfect country style song that Ringo sings with ease and very well too and it only suffers really because it's sandwiched between much stronger material like Michelle and Girl. From Revolver, I've gone with Yellow Submarine. This is pure childlike fun, an inspired piece of songwriting because it's a worldwide hit. Everybody knows it, everybody sings it, most people like it, and it's a song that will outlive us all, enough said. Having said that, it's always been the weakest song on Revolver for me. There isn't even a remotely weak moment on Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, but Reluctantly, I've gone with a little help from my friends. Now, I love the song. I love the melody, especially the do you need anybody bit. Um, it's a timeless classic, hugely popular, and I feel so guilty for having to pick it. 
From Magical Mystery Tour, I've gone with flying, which is a pretty obvious choice. It works much better in the Magical Mystery Tour film, which it was specifically written for. Nice use of the Mellotron. I quite like the wordless chanted vocal. It's an oddity, but a welcome one. From The Beatles, the White Album, I've gone with Piggies. And this is a clever bit of social commentary. Uh, it fits in nicely with the anything goes approach to the album. Musically, it's interesting too. Harpsichord, violins, cellos. There's plenty going on to keep it interesting. I like it. And also from the White Album, I've gone with Revolution Number no. 9. I applaud the innovation, the samples, the tape loops, the vocal effects, and it certainly opened the door for other artists to explore more avant-garde style recordings. But it's madness really, and it takes up over eight minutes of the album, and we could have had George's Not Guilty, Paul's Goodbye, we could have even made room for John's wacky What's the New Mary Jane and had a 32 track White Album. How about that? It's slim pickings from the Yellow Submarine album, but I've gone with All Together Now. Another childlike sing-along. Very catchy, very singable. I like it, but it's not as good as Only a Northern Song and nowhere near as good as Hey Bulldog or It's All Too Much. From Abbey Road, Don't Shoot Me All At Once. I've gone with Oh Darling. Crazy I know, there isn't a weak moment on Abbey Road. I absolutely adore Abbey Road, every single second of it. And this is a fine song, a great raspy vocal from Paul. I just like all of the other songs a little bit more, that's all. Yes, even Maxwell Silverhammer. I love Maxwell Silverhammer. I'm tired of having to explain why I love Maxwell Silverhammer so much. From Let It Be, I've gone with For You Blue. And this is a nice bluesy acoustic song from George. Perfectly fine, well structured, nice slide guitar solo too, but I've always been a little bit frustrated by this because knowing what songs George had to offer around this time, I think if we'd have had one of those songs that appeared on All Things Must Pass instead of this and take your pick because he had a lot of them around this time, it would have made Let It Be a much stronger album. So there you have it, 14 songs that make up the worst Beatles album. I think that makes up a fine album. A quick recap from Please Please Me, I chose Love Me Do. From With The Beatles, I chose I Wanna Be Your Man. From A Hard Day's Night, I chose When I Get Home. And from Beatles For Sale, I chose Babies In Black. From Help, I chose You Like Me Too Much. From Rubber Soul, I chose What Goes On. From Revolver, I chose Yellow Submarine. From Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Reluctantly, I chose With A Little Help From My Friends. From Magical Mystery Tour, I chose Flying. And from The Beatles, The White Album, I chose Piggies and Revolution No. 9. From Yellow Submarine, I chose All Together Now. From Abbey Road, I chose Oh Darling. And from Let It Be, I chose For You Blue. I think if I was to choose my favourite song from that list of songs, it would be Oh Darling. But let me know what you think. What would make your worst Beatles album? Please leave your thoughts and comments below. Please give the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. There'll be lots more to come. Thanks as always for watching. See you next time.